So this is the Xperia 1 Mark III, Sony's latest flagship and it brings a top of the line processor and indeed it's fast. I've been using it for about a month now but what about the battery life? So it comes with a 4500 mAh battery which is both good and bad. First of all it's good because it allows the phone to feel much lighter than others like this one and bad because well it's not as big as these ones, as the Galaxy S21 Ultra or even the S21 Plus. So how's battery life? We have lined up here on the table 5 phones, the new Xperia is on the right, then we have the Galaxy S21 Ultra, the other big boy, then we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max, then the smaller iPhone 12 Pro and then the compact Galaxy S21. And we'll kick this off right away with our first battery test. All the phones are set at the same brightness level and are fully charged before the beginning of the test. So we just unplug them and let them run. So this test just basically shows the battery drain if you're just casually browsing the web. We have a script that scrolls up and down to make it all more realistic. Keep in mind that right now we're only showing you a placeholder run and not the full test in its entirety that runs for more than 10 hours. But instead we'll just show you the result. So with this in mind let's fast forward until the first phone taps out and that on this test is the Galaxy S21. It has a 4000 mAh battery which is smaller than the bigger phones and it scores 9 hours and 6 minutes. So we flip it around and keep on going with the other phones. And again fast forward and surprise surprise is the Xperia that dies next. We have 9 hours and 51 minutes on the clock which is well just okay. And surprisingly even the compact iPhone 12 Pro still has juice left. So we have to fast forward time again until another phone dies and it takes a few more hours until finally the iPhone 12 Pro is the next one that bites the dust and it has a final score of 12 hours and 35 minutes and that is a pretty good score with a phone that has a battery capacity of less than 3000 mAh so great job on that front. So at this point we're predictably left with the big boys, the Ultra and the Pro Max and we have to once again jump forward in time and drum roll it's the iPhone that dies first with a score of 14 hours and 6 minutes which is great but not as great as the Galaxy. We let that phone run for a couple of hours more until it finally taps out on this test at about 16 hours which is one of the best scores around. So as a recap the Xperia finished this test with almost 10 hours on the clock which is below the average and definitely not on par with the other expensive flagships that it competes with. And that's the thing, in real life the Xperia will last me through the day if I use the phone modestly. But if I spend a bit more time on social media or just recording photos and videos I would have to top it up before the end of the day which is definitely not ideal. Anyway the results above were for the phone set at 60Hz but of course if you have an Xperia or a Galaxy you're probably going to use them at their 120Hz maximum setting. And running the same test over again at 120Hz the compact Galaxy S21 scores 7 hours and 47 minutes then the next phone to die is the Xperia with just over 9 hours at 120Hz and finally again the longest lasting of the bunch that support the 120Hz remains the Ultra of course with a super impressive score of 14 hours and 43 minutes at 120Hz. So the battery hit of having that 120Hz option is worst felt while gaming. So it makes sense to turn it off while you're gaming if you want to eke out more battery life but for all other modes as here on the browsing test you can see that it barely affects battery longevity. Anyway we have one more test if you watch a lot of videos this is the one for you we just play the same YouTube playlist at 1080p resolution on all of these phones and measure the time it takes to drain the battery while doing that. Again starting from a full charge on all phones we fast forward this and here's the shocker, the Xperia 1 Mark III drains like crazy on this test and it is actually the first one to die with only 6 hours and 5 minutes on the clock of continuous video streaming. 
this is not a great score and shows how using the phone a bit more intensely can quickly drain the battery. So we have to leave this test running until the other phones die of course and it is the iPhone 12 Pro that taps out next with a score of 6 hours and 48 minutes and all other phones still have a bit of juice left. Interestingly, the compact Galaxy S21 lasts 7 hours and 36 minutes, quite a bit more than the iPhone and the Xperia and it's an excellent showing for the Galaxy. And on this test again we have the two big phones left, the Pro Max taps out a bit earlier at 8 hours and 37 minutes while the Galaxy Ultra keeps on going for a while until it also finally wins this round as well with a score of 8 hours and 52 minutes. And here's once again a recap of all the scores for YouTube video streaming. Finally, we have one more test specifically for the gamers, so that's an interesting test. Will the Xperia last long in gaming? Now, first thing we noticed is that this phone heats up quite a bit, so it's definitely not ideal. But let's run our 3D gaming test on all of these phones and see the results. Okay, once again, all phones fully charged up, starting from scratch, we're running the same game at the same settings until these phones run out of battery. And here, it's actually the iPhone 12 Pro that taps out first at 6 hours and 46 minutes of non-stop gaming, and the Xperia is still holding up, so that's good for it. And it takes nearly an hour more until it finally is the next in line to die. It dies just after the 7 hour mark. Again, not a great score for a phone that aims to compete with the big boys. And interestingly, even the compact Galaxy S21 still keeps on going for a few minutes more despite its much smaller battery and finally ends this test at nearly 7 hours and 10 minutes. And again, no surprise, the Pro Max and the Ultra will fight it out for the win and let's fast forward until... Drumroll! The iPhone taps out first at just about 8 hours of playtime. This, once again, leaves the Galaxy S21 Ultra as the winner with the chicken dinner and 8 hours and 40 minutes of non-stop gaming action. We have to say that Galaxies in this test run the Exynos processor, so we expect the Snapdragon models to actually last a bit longer than that. So here's once again a recap of the battery life for gaming. So at the end of the day, the Xperia 1 Mark III with its 4500mAh battery cell really doesn't impress with battery life, quite the opposite. In fact, it's actually comparable to the very compact Galaxy S21 and iPhone 12 Pro and in terms of actual battery longevity. But that's what we got, that's what we have with the Xperia 1 Mark III and it also matches our real life experience fully. So what do you think? Would you still get the Sony still despite its lackluster battery life? Let us know in the comments. Also subscribe if you enjoyed this to help us reach our goal of 2 million subscribers. My name is Vic, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.